Hey there, friends. All right, today we're going to be replacing this back passenger side rear light. The entire enclosure we're going to be replacing today. Uh, because as you can see, the outer shell cracked during some hail damage. And, uh, and so we had to get an entire new enclosure. Basically, what we're going to be doing is removing this old one. That's pretty easy. And, uh, and then we're going to be installing the new guy. So the parts and the tools you're going to need are a, uh, a small wrench. And then this little guy. And these are little pry tools, which are great if you want to access all different uh, areas of your 4Runner. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be going in through this back panel here. And so you can use a regular screwdriver to kind of get in there. But having these little plastic guys is really nice. And then, of course, we're going to need this uh, replacement tail light. I'll have a link in the description box below, both for this tool and for this guy. Uh, so you can pick that up for, uh, I think this is about 56 bucks or so. It ships really fast. And, um, yeah, it's a great little light. So here we go. Okay, so uh, one of the things you need to basically take a peek at is the back side of this uh, light just to kind of see what we're going to be dealing with. And basically, you can see it's just two main bolts here that uh, hold it on via a screw. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually use this little tool here. And let's go ahead and remove the panel. And don't drop your panel there. <laughs> and that gives us access to the back of the light. So again, here's the, uh, the light there. And we're going in back through this access panel. Now back here, you've got a couple of your bulbs that are connected right here. Down there is another one of your bulbs. And then you can see up in here is the other bulb. Now right above that, and then see if I can actually get in here and look up. There is the nut and the bolt that we're going to be removing, or the, uh, the uh, nut, I should say, as well as this guy right here. So I'm going to grab my wrench and uh, we're going to loosen that guy up. Okay, so I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench to get those screws off right there. Now, uh, this bottom one actually for me had a ton of torque on it, uh, or I had to give a ton of torque, I should say. So I had to kind of angle my wrench in like this and then use my fingers really to kind of pry, in a, obviously in a counterclockwise motion. And I've got it now so where it's actually finger loose and I can pull it out. So let me... Uh, let me do that really quick here. And there you go. Make sure you save these uh, just in case because, uh, again, like this one did not come with this specific nut. So we're going to need to use that to go into that. All right, so now we're going to go up and grab that guy that's right up there, that little nut. Same thing. Okay, there we go. Pulled the second one out, and I'm going to stick that on top of my other nut so that those are secure. Okay, now we are ready to remove this guy. There's one last piece. You have to make sure that you disconnect your bulb. So this is actually pretty easy. There's a little tab that's in back of this right here, where my finger's pointing. Just to press that down and pull this right out. Okay, now that we have everything loosened, all the, the both the bulb and the uh, the two nuts, we can actually just pull this right out, and you can see it just totally comes free. And um, we can line it up with the other one, so that you can see again, it's just the uh, the two bolts, and then we're going to place that bulb right back in to that connector right there. So let's get the uh, the new one in place now. Okay, one last thing you're going to need to do before you install the new guy is remove the bulbs from the old lamp and place them into the new assembly over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We can start with this first guy. Again, you're just going to turn counterclockwise and you'll hear that popping sound. The arrow will move up and you can actually just pull this right out. Now there's a little connector down at the bottom there. Now we're going to have to remove this. Again, it's on a, uh, a tab system and uh, pull that from the assembly. Okay, so this first guy, basically once you have it pulled up out of the assembly, basically this just slides into this piece and you can disconnect those two guys and it pulls right out. So you're going to want to save this sleeve here. 
and then this can remain with the old assembly. We'll just leave that in there. Okay, we're gonna bring this guy right over to the new assembly, and you basically can see this, this new black one can slide right into the old assembly there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect those two pieces here with two hands. Okay, so what I've done is I've put it just uh, a little bit into the assembly and I'm gonna just snap that down into place. You can see it's uh, really easy. And then we're gonna feed this wire back into the old or the new assembly or the new main body here. And you're gonna to need to line up these tabs. You can see there's a notch right here and then it, you can barely see it in the film. There's a notch right there. And we're gonna line those up. So you can see the arrow is kind of right at about the two o'clock position. And then we're just gonna turn it. I'm gonna need two hands to do this, unfortunately. But we'll basically just take this and we'll turn it clockwise until it lines up with this copper piece right here. Okay, as you can see, really easy. Again, I needed two hands to kind of pop that into place, but there we go. We have our middle light assembly now uh, complete. So the next two things we need to do now are take up this top one and then this bottom one, and we're gonna put those very similar process into either one of these. Let me, let's start with this top one here first. Okay, again, very easy. We're just gonna take it, turn it just a slight counterclockwise degree pattern, and that is gonna pull right out of there. And you can see it's just a, a full uh, bulb right there. So once we have that, we're gonna bring it over here. And same kind of thing, you just need to make sure you line up the notches and make sure that arrow points kind of up into the one o'clock position to start with and then we're going to uh, we're going to slide that back down to place unfortunately I'm going to need two hands again so now you can see that uh, the assembly went right down in there I had to line up the notches and the arrow is actually pointing down in the six o'clock position I had to move this rubber just a, a little bit to kind of get it down in there and now I'm going to turn it in the clockwise position and it just locks right in there and the arrow is now pointing towards this copper piece right there so that's the top one all right let's move on to our bottom piece now this guy so same kind of process see the arrow is pointing up towards this guy right here we're going to turn it counterclockwise pop it and pop the entire assembly out there's the bulb let's move it over here and again we're going to line up those notches so that, that slides down just like that and on this one you can see it's just almost in the one o'clock position. We're gonna move it over until uh, clockwise until it lines up with that copper piece. All right, there we go. Our assembly is now complete and ready to be installed back onto the back of our Forerunner. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the little nuts here that I placed onto those posts. And we're gonna set those aside, make sure you do not lose those. And let's take this whole assembly and we're just going to set it into place with those bolts, as you can see right there. Make sure that one slides in. And then we're gonna look down at the bottom there. And that one you can see is lined up. A Little bit of pushing there, down at the bottom here. Let's make sure that goes in and um, it's looking good looking good I think basically I'm looking and things are pretty much lined up here we probably are gonna see some tightening down and and uh, nice and and flush once we put those bolts back in so now that that's in place I can go back in and put the nuts back on all right I'm gonna work on this first nut down here at the bottom again be very careful not to lose these guys or to drop them because if you do, it, it's there's not a hole bit down there, but it is a little bit of a reach to get down into that area. So there you go. I'm going to finger tight this real quick, and then we'll use the wrench to tighten it down as hard as we can. So that, now that's finger tight, let's go ahead and get that guy that's up there now. So I'm going to reach in with my other bolt. I'm going to have to reach up here, and it just slides on pretty easily. It's right about there, and I'm just going to finger it, tight it on there okay that's in place so now we need our 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to get back in here and basically just with your 10 millimeter inch tighten that back down i'm going to do that really quick and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and connect the lighting assembly 
Okay, bolts are tightened down, and all we need to do now is connect the electronics for the bulbs here, and I'm just gonna slide that directly in. You can hear that click, it's nice and clipped in. And basically, we are good to go. Let's put our little panel back on, and then we can take a look at our work here. Snap that shut, and there you go. Tail light is installed. It's nice and tight and flush with the car, and we're looking good. Brake lights are working. There you go, right blinker is working. And then do, uh, turn it on, put it in reverse. And we're looking, there's our reverse lights. We are good to go. So there you go, 56 bucks and a couple of tools. I'll again have the light fixture and the tools needed in the description box below. You can buy them on Amazon. Go click those links, hit the thumbs up button, comment, let me know what else other fixes you guys might like to see, and stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more 400 tips and tricks coming up soon. Take care.